Yeah, guys, welcome to yet another Bones of Tutorial. I just want to start by thanking all of you who invited me on Facebook from the other previous, uh, my previous tutorial. I really, really thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You're such sweethearts. And uh, the next thing, for all of you who don't know who, who, who wanted to know my username, you want to invite me on Facebook? Uh, my username is just on the screen above. You can just search me and invite me. Let's head into what we're supposed to be looking at today. So today what we're going to be looking at is a uh, hacking Bluetooth part 2 of uh, the previous tutorial of uh, part 1 hacking Bluetooth. And uh, I'm not going to go through the basic stuff because most of that we've had looked at that. We've had looked about it. We had uh, looked at it in the previous tutorials. So we start by configuring our Bluetooth app and then I have to, I need to make sure that I at least I change its class so that it can reflect as a mobile phone and with this I'm going to use class I'm going to use something like 0 by uh, 50204 and if I'm to ask for the class of this device I can see it's reflecting as a mobile phone not a computer or any other audio drive so having done that I need to scan for my Bluetooth devices that are around uh, that are within my vicinity. So I just try to make a Bluetooth scan. Sorry, let me just take this off because I'm too lazy to keep on typing all the time. Scan ATI0. Tap, 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 tap. It doesn't take long for most of the times. It doesn't really take so long. So I'll wait for a little while. As I have, I can start up. Yeah. Uh, so you see we have three Bluetooth uh, devices around here and this is really amazing. I'm just going to, I don't know who this is but I'm just going to use that. So before we even get into hacking we need to configure, to reconfigure again uh, the hcid.conf, the, the, the hcid configuration file. We need to configure that and so we have to head right into it and that's, we have to say cd space slash etc no this is not etc etc slash bluetooth slash bluetooth slash s id dot conf uh oh I'm making a very big mistake here this is a uh, this is just the file that we want that's the file that we want the file that we want is just right here and uh, in order for us to get it we need to first change the permission so that we can we can access it change mode of the permission uh, to uh, 755 that is acceptable for me to, to re-edit it and I have to type in my file name that is hcidid.conf .conf and once I enter it, it doesn't show anything like there is anything that has gone on but if we try to use maybe nano like an editor and we can try to reconfigure it and uh, get into it so we use nano nano hcid dot config dot conf and it comes up just as we expected it to do so first in this file if I try to embroad to broaden it to see what's in detail in, in de the depth details of the file we can see it's a uh, auto in it's yes and that's okay we come to the security manager mode we have the security manager as user and we don't want to have this we want to have the security manager uh, the security as auto and uh, if we come down here we have pairing is multi and uh, we have our press key we have it as backtrack but for my case I want it as one two three four and uh, <coughs> excuse me if I come down here I can see a name is equals to backtrack blah 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 I don't also want this I want to name this as something like um, uh, device one right I can name it as device one or maybe if if you want to even be more specific you can just go back to your to your scan file and then you can pick up the name and then you place it back again you can keep on scrolling down you look for the local address which is the, uh, the local device class and we have here a very funny class name but uh, what we have to do if I try to minimize this for you let's just go down sorry if I can go down here 
in I see my class. The class that I had used in this file is the same class that I have to use right here. So I can go back to my file and uh, try to re-edit it. And I can have it as 0 by 50204. And I can still come down. I can come down, look at a, that's, this is okay, the, the inquiry page scanner, that's okay, page scan is enabled, and uh, we come here to the LM accept, I just want to add one thing here, and that would be, you had a comma, master, right, so, so if, if that is also okay, we come down, arrow switch, Everything, this is all okay, but just down here we need to add a couple of stuff that will be use really uh, useful for us. One will be the authentication mode. We want to enable. We enable the authentication mode. And then the other thing that we want to enable is the encryption mode. Encrypt. We want to put it to enable, right? So when that is all done, we can just go ahead and save this file by mm, holding a Ctrl X on your keyboard and then hit Y and then enter. So we want to try to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we want to try to, to, uh, to recheck our, to restart our Bluetooth again. So to do that, we're going to go to CD slash ETC slash RDC RC, sorry, RC dot D, then slash mm, slash RC dot Bluetooth. No, let me just hold it from here. Then here I'm just going to type because let me just make an LS, and you can see the file that you want RC dot Bluetooth. Where is that RC dot Bluetooth? It's right here. RC dot Bluetooth dot RC dot Bluetooth restart. That's what we're going to be using. RC dot Bluetooth. Um, Bluetooth. And then we add on restart. Oh, oh. So permissions can be granted because uh, we haven't changed the permissions, the permission mode. So we have to go to change mode. Um, Seven five five. And the mode, if it's changed, we go back. Then bingo, it's done. So let's clear out all this mess. So that we can be a little bit more clean. So, so far we have done what is necessary. And the other step that we're supposed to do, we need to add all the nodes that we're supposed to be using. You have to have uh, the do node, the FTP of the phone, or the OBA, the OBEX of the phone. And uh, I know a lot of you may be wondering what, what the heck is this guy really trying to say? But uh, if we could uh, make an STB scan, SDP tool, space browse, and then space we are, I need to insert, let me just take for example if I was to take this IP and paste it inside, what I will get, I will get, I'm trying to footprint this very phone. So you see what's inside here? I wonder whether you guys see. You see, we have completely like the blueprint of the whole phone just before our face, and we can we can uh, decide what we want to do because all the list of different services with their different protocols that are kaka, how you can access them through the different protocols are all listed down here. Say for example, we can see the dial-up network, that the services and uh, and its handle are the record record handle just mentioned down here it has a uh, uh, its networking number generic number is just down here and a lot of protocol description lists the L l2 cap rf call everything is just listed and most amazingly even the channel itself are listed so we can see if you're dealing with the nokia pc suit uh, it has one of the services on nokia pc suit we can uh, see uh, the com one we can see the voice getaway for you to track the voices that are coming from the phone and the, the audio getaway is also uh, permitted but if you try to scroll down below it this way things get even more interesting when you find things like uh, uh, the SIM access because the SIM ca access can give you the uh, access codes to the SIM so what do we do when we have such information 